All righty, folks, we are actually recording the hub call on Friday, June 2nd, because I am doing a super secret project on Monday, June 5th. We'll talk more about that later. We have the one and only Matt, the mortgage guy, and Elaine, uh, newest members of the hub. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing great, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing awesome. And Elaine, how are you? I'm doing great. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Elaine, let's go to you first. Uh, last week, obviously, you are now an insurance broker at the hub. You are helping us, helping me personally. We'll talk about that in a second. You are going to bring to the table a term to educate the audience on. What is the term and what does it mean? Why should we all know it? Well, the term would be liability. And um, that's different than liable. <laughs> yeah. so, liability. And the reason that that's an important term for everybody to know is because that is basically your asset protection. Um, we look at it on the asset protection side. Mike Zuber, he owns XYZ amount of property. So we need to make sure that your liability coverage is enough so that if there are damages to a person, a life, property, mm -hmm. um, that you're held liable for, that you're not going to get sued and lose these assets that you have equity in. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that that coverage is equitable for your assets. Awesome. So. And this is why people need to have conversation. I, I hear from lots of new investors who yet to own anything. Right. And they're already putting together complex insurance structures. Right. I'm like, you don't own anything yet. So um, yeah. it's just wild to think. But that's why they have to talk to folks like you, Elaine, uh, right. and all of that. Um, so we'll come back to you in a minute because, again, you are helping me on something that's very California-specific. And others are undoubtedly seeing that. But let's go to Matt first. Matt, you took a trip to the Hub this week. Uh, what do you think? What's going on? Uh, I what, sure what did. Yeah, new member of the Hub, and I was in there in person. You know what I realized, Mike, is it's an easy drive for me. It's a quick two and a half hours. Drove down in the morning, met a bunch of people. My buddy Carlos, one of them that just joined, uh, you know, had lunch. Got to meet with some past clients. Ran into a past client at Starbucks. Um, so I'm excited, um, to be a part of the hub. Amy from my team is going to be, uh, you know, local and able to meet and do appointments on the regular at the hub. Um, I'm fairly local being two and a half hours away, uh, but able to, if it's every other month or however often we decide to put together some events, I'm, I'm super stoked about it because, uh, yeah, it's easier drive than I thought. And yeah. I, you know, I've got a three minute commute to work. And I realize, like <laughs> when I drive, I get to listen to podcasts. I get to have good conversation. I make, you know, make phone calls. Uh, it's, uh, it's not so bad. So excited about it. Yeah. Very cool. We'll come back to you in a minute. Carlos, how you doing, man? You're on the road drive safe. Oh, it looks like you're parked. Yeah, I did. I parked. Uh, yeah. This guy got out of home Depot. I don't know if you see, but there's drive. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So Carlos, obviously uh, you're a member of the hub, been there a long time, doing lots of work for me and the community. Uh, you're actually doing a project for me on a property I just referred to as 10th Street. You're dressing up the outside. We've just painted it. You're taking care of the fence, some gate work. Uh, so thank you for doing that. I don't know if you got my approve a, approval, uh, but that work, what, done next Monday, Tuesday? When's it all getting done? Uh, probably get started by Tuesday or next okay, week. Okay, that's yeah. fine. I was just curious. Yeah, so again, uh, folks, we've got to realize I, the team that's at the Hub are people that I use. Carlos does work for me and Olivia all the time. Again, he just got a job. Uh, he's doing a job for me out there on 10th Street. Carlos, if somebody wanted to get a bid or a quote from you for something in Fresno, how do they do that these days? Well, definitely give us a call at 559-681-8431. Uh, again, that's 559-681-8431. Awesome. And, of course, Carlos, don't forget, you get need to get me some walkthrough videos of projects people love to see what you're doing. Uh, you could, you know, if you want to take us, you know, walk through what you're doing on my project before and after, whatever you want to do. I think more people need to see your amazing work. You got to do that for me. Okay. Oh, definitely. Definitely will. Awesome. Well, Elaine, we're coming back to you because something we talked about off camera with Matt is California is a tough market to get insurance. We've seen many carriers back out. We have some uh, that are refusing to write new business. And I personally had a fourplex canceled uh, last Friday. So again, Memorial Day weekend, so it's okay. Uh, I do have to August 1st to get new insurance. So they gave me time when they cancel. But again, I've come to you, you and Chad, uh, to help me out. You're getting some quotes. Lots of California investors, I will not be the only one, are going to have policies canceled yes. or refused to be written. 
people need to be re reaching out if they're in Fresno or anywhere in California. Uh, so what's going on in Cal what's California? Why is everybody backing out? California is just not profitable. After all the fires, I think, you know, these companies have to make sure that they don't become insolvent. Mm -hmm. So they try to stop the bleeding by stopping new business. Um, otherwise, they need to have more money to make sure that they meet those claims, you know, and they have to make sure they have enough money. So uh, because of those losses, I think a lot of them are either pulling out um, or they are just non-renewing. Like your yeah. policy is non-renewing. They didn't give you time. Your policy is August to August. Oh, so oh how <laughs> thankful of them. <laughs> they gave yeah. you a heads up, but they yeah, didn't give you no not, bonus <laughs> time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Olay. That's, that's, I didn't read it, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> They're just saying, yeah, we're not going to give you a renewal offer uh, in, in yeah. August. So it's, it's awesome that they did give you time, and it, but yeah. the reason for it says not writing this type of business anymore. Yeah, not writing anymore. They're out. When they can't pull out, they'll just make it impossible is what happens. And yeah. that's what's happening. Or they're doing a lot of them are making it so that you there are three to 10, 15 day underwriting yeah. review periods. So if you needed insurance today, a lot of them, these markets that are specific to their one carrier, they can't help you because yeah. they have these review periods. Well, this is why I'm so excited to have you, Elaine, and Chad at the hub because, again, I I always dreamed about having an insurance broker there. I think exactly. having one there now is like amazing timing and maybe a sign that good karma works Yeah, uh, because I expect a lot of California investors to be like me to get cancellations or non-renewals or whatever you want to call that. How right. should people reach out to you and say, hey, I just had a cancellation because this is what I did. I had your email. I had Chad's email. I sent exactly. you the cancellation notice. I sent you what I'll call the policy. I don't know if that's the right word or not saying, Hey, I need this by August. Help me out. What should people do? Uh, is that the right process? What should people be doing? Oh yeah, definitely. The email, if you're email friendly, if you like a text, um, you, we also have that option. As long as they mention or at, or one rental at a time, they can get my cell phone number and they can just direct. Some people just want to text. They don't like to log into their email. But our phone number, if they want to call, is 559-221-1600. And then, of course, my email is elaine at fast savings. And savings is with an S at the end, dot co, dot co. So yeah. elaine at fast savings dot co. That, the, those are the fastest ways to get a yeah. hold of me. Folks, do me a favor. If you're in California and you're having insurance question or insurance issues like I am on my fourplex or want to just get another name in your Rolodex, what is that phone number? Because I promise you, if you're a California investor, you're going to get one of these insurance notices. What is the phone number they should text just to say hi from ORAP? Oh, if they want to text, they can text 559-696-9196. Awesome. That's we'll get that from you. phone number. Awesome. And every, only ORET people are going to watch this. So again, they can That's text you. Right. And, <laughs> and again, I would text her today just to say, hi, I'm from ORET because if you're in California, trust me, I won't be the, I won't be the only one getting one of these notices. Right. Matt, what, what's going on with mortgages? Rates coming down a little bit. Um, yeah. Um, with, 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 with today's job numbers um, and stuff actually, actually, you know, was, was bad on rates. So we, I think we got a worsening this morning, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's not pretty. In, in the land of, of mortgage rates, but it kind of is what it is. For me, uh, I kind of like it, right? I think I think we're we're weeding out some of the demand side mm -hmm. as we're you know testing that seven percent thirty year fixed level, um, and so it's a good thing. I, I put out a video that my prediction for the second half of two thousand twenty three is you know if we stay between this six and a half seven percent interest rate range, um, some some buyers are going to back out or, or at least demand won't increase. And so when some more inventory comes, it should become a more buyer friendly environment because uh, so many markets, you know, Sacramento and others that I'm in, it's so competitive that, you know, I'm, I'm on the, I'm on team buy side. That's the Jersey I wear. And so I'm, if, whether it's an investor or an owner occupied, like I want them to win and, and, Last November and December, they were winning. Seller credits, concessions on price, all of that stuff. That's a fun environment to work in as an investor or as a you know buyer just buying your first home. And so I'm hoping to see more of that the second half of, of 2023. 
Um, if you're in the camp where you're just rooting for a 5% interest rate, I can't root for you because then that <laughs> stuff's not going to happen, right? Uh, so um, yeah, we'll see. We got we got some more important stuff coming out in June with obviously CPI and the Fed meeting and um, things that happen in, in that week will definitely affect mortgage rates. Yeah, it's funny. I just had a conversation with Taylor from Life Goal Investments and he let me know the expectation for CPI headline, 4.2. Wow. So that is why I think we get no Fed rate increase and rates will rates will crater if 4.2 uh, is the number. So uh, pretty wild that the market's expecting that. So if somebody wanted to reach out, get a file started, talk about buying or selling or buying, I guess, uh, how should they do that, Matt? Yeah, the easiest way, greatmortgagebroker.com. Just fill up that form. If for whatever reason you're like, hey, I don't want to fill that out. I just have a random question. Feel free to email, especially if you're in the ORAC community, team at mtmg.com. Hey, I was just curious about this, or hey, I want to know that. We even have an office line that you could text, 916-802-9291. Uh, generally speaking, if you're looking to get pre-approved and you want to figure out how much you qualify for and, and what it's going to look like, you want to go through the process. So you just yes. want to go to greatmortgagebroker.com, fill out that form. But one-off questions, um, we get them. I don't mind them. I actually had somebody reach out from one rental at a time that said, hey, I came across this property in, in SAC. I know you work with flippers. I connected the flippers and, and the one rental time member. And he's like, thank you so much. So stuff like that, feel free, team at mtmg.com or 916-802-9291. That's awesome. All right, we're going to bring a wrap up. We're going to go through one more time. Carlos, what is the phone number if somebody wanted to get a quote or work? Uh, definitely. Quote that? Yeah, definitely. 559 681 8431. That's 559 681 8431. And just so you know, when you get that, you're going to speak with his lovely wife, Martha, who is just a treasure beyond treasure. So be nice. <laughs> Carlos, thank you. And again, I look forward to that 10th Street project work. Thank you for doing that for me and Olivia. Elaine, you're going to get a lot of phone calls and you're going to get a lot of texts from ORAD folks, especially in California. What is the text number one more time? 559-696-9196. And let me be very clear. If you have a property in California and you have insurance today, I suggest <laughs> texting Elaine just so you have another name in your Rolodex because right. when you get one of these cancellations, you need to know who to call. Uh, so Elaine, one more time. Yeah, 559-696-9196 five, five, nine, 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 or nine, our office phone number. It comes, it's forwarded directly to my to me anyway. It's 559-221-1600. Five, five, two, two, or my email again is elaine at fastsavings.co. Um, and then, like I said, I don't know, we weren't able, Chad isn't here today, so we weren't able to um, introduce ourselves just in case there's any new um, listeners, but we really consider ourselves a partner's with you in your business. And that starts with protecting your assets and helping educate you. And then not just earning your business, it's what we do afterward, helping you, hand-holding you through the claims process, mm -hmm. through any billing issues, non-renewals, like you said. And then that's the great thing about Chad buying this business is that we're brokers in California. We are not, our hands are not tied with one product. We mm -hmm. have many different products for commercial property, vacant lands, I know uh, Carlos was talking about a property that was empty in the front last week. Yeah. And um, there's coverage for that type of, uh, while the while anything's being built, mm -hmm. there's a course of construction. Um, there's vacant properties that are getting renovated that need coverage. So we can do all of that. Yeah. This is why you're at it. This is why I'm so happy to have an insurance broker there that covers California. It's an important market. Obviously I'm here. A lot of my uh, clients are, and friends are here. So thank you for being there. And again, I expect your phone to blow up. And Matt, you're a part of the hub. We're doing amazing things there. We should do events, you know, Saturday events and all that. We'll talk about that. But if people wanted to understand across the country, right? Elaine is California, but you're supporting across the country, buying, uh, helping people, investors, home buyers, all of that. Where can they reach out? Right. Yeah. We're in 48 states. We don't have uh, Hawaii and New York yet, but probably in the next couple of years. Slacker. Uh, yeah. Just, just, just closed a pretty big month. So we're growing fast. We did 223 million last month in, in loans. I think 667 uh, deals crossed the finish line and, you know, nice work. a lot of, a lot of families across the U S with, with you mortgage. If you go to greatmortgagebroker.com, it's a quick and easy form. It's coming straight to me and my team. And by doing that, 
you can tell us where you're at, what you're looking to do, and then we're going to connect you directly to somebody. If you're part of the One Rental Time community, we're happy to answer questions. Team at mtmg.com or 916-802-9291. Mm. Guys, thank you very much for doing this on a Friday. I know it's unusual. We will switch these back to Monday after this week. Take care, everyone. Have fun. Have an amazing weekend. Thanks, Mike. All right. Thanks. Bye. So back to the